Hi, welcome to Disney to Universal. If you are new here, my name is Nicola and today I'm going to give you a look around Pin HQ by GoPin Pro. And as soon as you come through the door, you see this gumball machine spin for a pin, which is $10. Really good fun, but I was already going to be spending a fortune in here, so I never actually got to try this. Little sneak peek there. And then that's right next to this pinwheel, which they're really famous for and has absolutely thousands of pins on here. And this is a close up of one of the $10 sections of the boards on the wheel. And they had a few other different price ranges like $8. I think there might have been a 15, can't fully remember. But you do get little colored stickers on the backs of the pins. So you always know whether it's a 10, eight, 15, 12, whatever the price categories are, they have little color coded stickers on. So no matter where you go around the store, you can always double check the price on the back. But yes, there's so many different options on this pinwheel. It was so much fun to look through. And I literally could have spent about two hours just on the pinwheel alone. But because I had my family with me, I had to try and wrap it up as quickly as possible. But I thought they had a really good range of pins, lots of new and there was old and then good mystery selection. And they have a deal on as well where if you buy five pins, you get a free pin and obviously it would be the cheapest pin for free. So this is the section that Go Pin Pro are really famous for. This is what started their business off. This was all of the Go Pin Pro products, uh, like pin folios and boards, things like along those lines to put your pins on or hold your pins in and great for trading. Now, this was the section I was really coming to the store for. I wanted to have a good look at all of the products that were available because in the UK we don't have a full access to the full range. And so I wanted to have a look at all the different color options. And you can see it's like a beautiful rainbow. And they are constantly adding brand new products all of the time, which I love. Now, I was really excited to film this consignment board because this is by Princess Shannon and Nick. I watch their YouTube channel all the time. love their videos. So I was really excited to come and see their pin board. So you get a lot of people who rent out these boards and sell their pins. A lot of the boards have high price pins, but not all of them, as you can see, really affordable, reasonable priced pins on this board particularly. And not all boards are rented. Some of them are the Go Pin Pro's own pins that they are selling as well. So it's a good mix in the shop. Um, but yeah, you will literally have hours upon hours of fun just looking through these boards. And you can find some really rare pins, some really high value and lots of just old pins, unique pins that you just can't find. And it's so much fun looking at some of the expensive pins or the pins that are affordable, but you could only buy like one of them, for instance, per visit. If I had access to this shop on a regular basis, I think I would literally live here or ask to work here because it's a pin lover's dream. And you can ask to have the cabinet doors opened if you want to have a closer look at any of the pins inside. And the staff members that work there as well are really, really helpful. We actually asked them at the time if they could help us find any Kermit the Frog pins for my daughter who was looking for them. And they really went out of their way. They even opened up mystery box pins for us to see if they could find any, um, which was so, so nice. And really didn't need to do that but there you go that's just the kind of people that work in this store this is a little overview of the first right hand side of the store and i'm taking you towards the very back here because they had some open pin books and the pin books are generally themed or at least each page will be or a few of the pages these were some of their new boards that you can hang on the wall here's another one of the consignment boards and I just loved how many different looking pins were inside this one. Really interesting, such a different mix of characters and themes and everything going on. Just visually a really good looking board and 
also some really great prices. So highs, lower, and just um, really well done. I really appreciated the look of this one. But yeah, you get tons and tons of high price pins. They had like $1,000 worth of WDI profiles. Obviously not in this one, but I just wanted to let you know they were there as well. Um, I think this one was the GoPin Pro board and they were massive. Honestly, the amount of pins they could fit on this board. A great mix of pins on here again. I could have spent a small fortune in this shop. It is just so tempting. So be prepared for that. This was on the other left hand side of the shop. So it's giving you a quick span of this side of the building. They have little rooms there, all beautiful. This was me going into the first room and again, more consignment boards in here and a mix with some of GoPin Pro's things also and some Loungefly items as well. So again, just really nice presentation, all these different kinds of display areas that they have. I uh, loved some of these box sets. They had a really great selection of those. So that was fun because you don't always come across those. You know, it's just normally like a single pin. But yeah, interesting collection. And some of the prices were really decent and reasonable, I thought, um, for a boxed pin or like a box set of a few pins. I was getting really tempted in this room because I thought, oh, you know, that's not too bad a price. Um, especially this Little Mermaid one, I was really tempted by, because one of my favourite collections. Uh, yeah, and just pins literally on every single wall and surface within this shop. It is unbelievably covered, which is a pin lover's dream. I loved these sections. They kind of went in rainbow colour. More consignment boards up here. And there's more pinwheels down in the bottom left hand corner. Um, but yeah, just showing you some other selections. There's a lot of these film strips on there, which is cool. And then this is the last section where you could pull out folders and look through more pins. We had fun pulling out one of the folders that had hidden Mickeys in. That is the end of the video. If you enjoyed watching, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and please let me know down in the comments if you feel like you'll be going to pin hq and having hours of fun thanks for watching and see you next time